Digidive presents Autoric Pro versus Regify. <laughs> Settle down. So in this video, in this video, I'll try to make a fair comparison of the two big auto riggers for Blender, Rigify and Autorig Pro. This is part of my tutorial series about Autorig Pro. And here, in a way, we want to answer the question, is Autorig Pro worth it? This add-on will cost you 40 bucks, whereas its main competitor, Rigify, is not only free, but it also comes pre-installed with Blender. As I already mentioned in the previous video, part 1, Autorig Pro is not just a rig generator. It has additional features that help you on almost every step of the rigging pipeline. Weight binding, shape keys, retargeting, creating a bone picker, streamlined game export, and so on. Rigify, on the other hand, is mainly a rig generator. It has a few small additional features, but not much. So my plan is to compare the rig generation features of both add-ons in detail and at the end we'll also talk about the additional tools. I'm going to split the rig generation category into the following subcategories. Rig types or building blocks, the features of the generated rig, the meta rig, we are going to look at customizability and extensibility, and finally we'll talk about the user experience with each tool. By the way, I'll be assigning a score at each section, but try not to take this too seriously. It's mainly for entertainment purposes. So first, rig types. Rig types are the rig components that each add-on can generate. Rig type is actually the term that Rigify uses, Autorig Pro calls them limbs, you can call them whatever you like. There is a lot of overlap between the two add-ons. For example, Autorig Pro has a spine and Rigify also has a spine. And they work similarly. Both have a head-neck element, arms, legs and the tail element are also similar in both tools. In some cases, both have similar features, but they work slightly differently. For example, Rigify has a palm and finger element, Autorig Pro also has them, but they are an extension of the arm rig type. Rigify has a separate preset for animal legs, whereas Autorig Pro has a special setting in its leg component to make it behave as a quadruped leg. Rigify has a predefined face, and Autorig Pro also has a face as an extension of the head element. So the workflow may be a little bit different, but you can obtain similar results. There are some elements that appear different on the surface, but they really aren't. For example, ARP has components called ears and breasts, which sounds fancy, but these are simple chains of bones. In Rigify, you can use simple tentacle or basic chain to achieve similar results. Rigify has a special raw copy rig type, which allows you to create custom riggings inside the meta rig. Autorig Pro does not have anything like that because it doesn't need it. In Autorig Pro, you can just add custom bones in the reference armature and it will generate them. This is an advanced topic and I'll definitely make a tutorial about it. And now to the real differences. Autorig Pro has advanced bone chains, spline IK and bendy bones chain. Rigify's answer to that is the experimental super chain, but it can be a little bit hard to use. Autorig Pro's advanced chains seem more robust to me. I'll mention two interesting Rigify features. As of Blender 3, the face is actually created using modular pieces. This is very cool. In theory, it allows us to create very complex faces. Also, Rigify can be extended using custom rig types. Again, this can be very powerful, but there is a but. The modular face elements are actually very difficult to use, and the additional rig types are not that many, and often they aren't well maintained. So what's the score? I'll give both Rigify and Autorig Pro 8 points each. If Rigify's modular face was easier to use, I'd give the win to Rigify, but as it is, this feature is only available to advanced users. Now let's look at the rigs that each add-on generates. Regarding the generated rig, both add-ons can create an intuitive and feature-rich production quality rig. 
Both have similar features that you can expect from an advanced blender armature, such as IK-FK switching and snapping, even IK-FK baking. You can isolate the limbs rotations, there is space switching, etc, etc. Which one you prefer may be just a matter of taste. I'm going to keep this section brief and again I'll give both tools equal scores. Rigify 8, AutoRig Pro 8. But don't worry, there will be winners and losers in the next sections. Next, both rig systems generate the complex final rig based on simple chains of so-called reference bones. The big difference is that in Rigify, the meta rig is external. It is a separate armature. In AutoRig Pro, it is contained within the generated rig, and that makes a difference. It makes the rig generation more robust and ensures that you'll never lose your reference bones. A common problem with Rigify is that users delete the meta rig after the initial generation and then they're unable to make changes to the rig. So Rigify gets 7 points for its meta rig and AutoRig Pro gets 8 for its integrated reference bones system. Now let's look at customizability and extensibility. While the default components will solve the most common rigging problems, there are always special cases which are not covered by those elements. Some problems can be solved by tweaking the components options, but other cases may require you to build a completely custom rigging and connect it to the generated rig. So here again, it's a very close call. Both add-ons will allow you to create custom rigs and connect them to the predefined ones. I could easily call it a draw, but I'm going to give this one to Rigify. There are many reasons why, for example, in Rigify there is a manual limb mode which allows you to have perfect control over the bone roll of arms and legs. AutoRig Pro, on the other hand, is always in automatic mode. This can make a difference when you need fine control over your rig, and there are other examples. Earlier I mentioned the module face elements and custom extensions that you can install for Rigify. AutoRig Pro also has some advantages. For example, because of its integrated meta rig, it's much easier to, to constrain and parent custom bones to the generated ones. In Rigify, that can be an uphill battle when dealing with relink constraints and other unintuitive settings. However, workflow is the next point that I'll be talking about. If we are just talking about raw potential, then Rigify takes the win here. So Rigify 9 points and AutoRig Pro 8 points. And now we come to the user experience of each add-on. The score is still pretty close, but this section will make a big difference. The developer of AutoRig Pro has clearly invested a lot of effort in guiding the user through the rigging experience. There is a smart mode that allows you to rig humanoid characters in a couple of clicks. And when editing the reference bones, all necessary tools such as changing settings, duplicating and mirroring components are all available in one place. After generating a rig, the next logical step is to bind a character to it. AutoRig Pro has tools to simplify this process and to avoid bone heat waiting error, which is everyone's least favorite error message. Rigify, on the other hand, looks like a developer tool when it comes to usability. For the average user, Rigify can look like a minefield. Many people will just get error after error when trying to use Rigify without guidance, and they may not even manage to generate a rig. With experience, you can learn to manage those errors, and CG Dive's tutorials can help you with that. But overall, the user experience is not streamlined, it looks like it hasn't been worked on yet. This is also reflected in the version number of Rigify, which has been 0.6 for a long time. So here I'll give a clear win to AutoRig Pro with 9 points and Rigify will just get 5 points because of its many errors and unintuitive error messages. At this point AutoRig Pro is ahead but Rigify may be keeping something up its sleeve. The simple fact that Rigify is free and always available in Blender means that it will always have more users than any other rigging add-on. There is no way for me to verify this but I think it stands to reason. 
Therefore, Rigify, especially its human rig, is the de facto standard rig for Blender. People are at least somewhat familiar with it. This is especially important if you are creating content that is meant to be shared with the community, such as animation libraries, rigged models, rigging or animation tutorials, etc. Autorig Pro has also taken steps to make its rigs into a standard. There is a mini add-on that you can share with other users and that ensures that the ARP rig will work to its full potential but without the rig generation and rig editing features. Rigify has the potential to be even more ubiquitous if the Blender developers invest the time to create workflows around it. So in this category I'm going to give Autorig Pro 5 points and Rigify 7 points with the potential for even more. And now the other main category that I want to talk about is additional tools, not just rig generation. And I'm going to keep it simple here without going into details. Basically, Autorig Pro has a lot of features and Rigify has few. Again, some of the advanced features and workflows that Autorig Pro enables are easy weight binding, easy shape key creation, export to game engines, retargeting, creating a bone picker, and more. Rigify, on the other hand, can create a rig menu for you. Again, the workflow can be a little bit bumpy, but at the end, the result is good. And you can also assign colors to your rig controls, which can also be useful. So here I'll give Autorig Pro 9 points for its many advanced features, which speed up the rigging workflow beyond rig generation and I'll give Rigify just two points. By the way, I didn't give a perfect score of 10 points to any of the tools in any of the categories. Let's just say that there is always room for improvement. So final score, final verdict. Again, don't take the points too seriously, but when it comes to rig generation, both tools can achieve similar results. Autorig Pro only really takes the lead when user experience is considered. It is a streamlined tool that tries to help you generate a rig, unlike Rigify, which kind of throws you into the cold water and slaps you with unclear error messages at every step. And finally, when we consider the add-on as a whole with all of its features, then Autorig Pro is the clear winner. And I think that makes sense. If Rigify was the clear winner, then why would 20,000 people spend $40 on Autorig Pro, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure some people will disagree with me on at least some of the points. So let me know what you think. Do you use Rigify, Autorig Pro, Custom Rigs or something else? I would love to know.